I'm what the leaders of the Tea Party would call a rhino, Republican in name only. And that's ironic, because that's exactly what I think about the leaders of the Tea Party, because the most conservative Republicans today aren't Republicans. Republicans believe in a prohibitive military. We believe in a common sense government, and that there are social programs enacted in the last half century that work, but there are way too many costing way too much that don't. And we believe in the rule of law and order and free market capitalism. The Tea Party believes in loving America, but hating Americans. Tea Party Congressman Alan West of Florida. I must confess, when I see anyone with an Obama bumper sticker, I recognize them as a threat to the gene pool. They believe in loving America, but hating its government. Conservative activist Grover Norquist. I don't want to abolish government. I simply want to reduce it to the size where I could drag it into the bathroom and drown it in the bathtub. And they believe that anyone who disagrees with the Tea Party has sinister anti-American motives. The objective of the liberals is to destroy this country. The objective of the liberals is to make America mediocre. Most of all, you must never, under any circumstance, seek to reach a compromise with your opponent or do any of what Democrats and genuine Republicans both call governing. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. And one other plank in the Tea Party platform. If you're poor, it means you're either too lazy or too stupid to be rich. Here's Andre Bauer, Tea Party leader and lieutenant governor of South Carolina. My grandmother was not a highly educated woman, but she told me as a small child to quit feeding stray animals. You know why? Because they breed. It's almost hard to believe Republicans can't get Dorothy Cooper to vote for them.